I make booze and I start it. Yeah. Oops, it's too cool. I'm Davis. And I am Helen. We're in Harang. This is uh, intermediate, your first class of the week. Ooh. And actually, my first class uh, as a full time instructor in Harang. Me too? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what did we talk about first? We did some follow the Davis. All right, so if we're doing it this way, here we go. Ellen's in the back, and she's following me. She's looking at my center. All right, I want to move from my center, she's looking at my center. Our process was, I said triple, triple, when I wanted to triple forward. Same thing when I wanted to go back. Triple. <coughs> the thing that made this good or made it less than good was, am I moving from my center and how much intention do I have? We also talked about balance. So we had a center line and we talked balance left to right. Why don't you do it uh, from the back? Yeah. So we talked about if our arms go wide and our hands go wide, we want our legs to do the same thing. Game to the center. We go out and we can come along our center point. This is all the balance. So it's not only the front arm, it's also the back arm. That's left to right. We had top-down balance, meaning opposite leg bends with the opposite knee. Right? If they both bend, then there we go. All right? We had front-back balance. So in our rocks, we wanted our elbows to try and extend as far forward and back as our opposite leg. So if Ellen does it, forward and back, forward and back, and she's going to pause forward. We see this elbow is in line with the front knee, and this elbow is in line with the back knee. That's perfect balance in all three places. So we played with that and followed the Davis. We were forward and we were back. We were forward. We missed our stiff man with long legs. Were we bouncing? Were we small steps? All those things we talked about. Uh, we then took that hand to hand. We started from a deep breath. Relaxed. We were able to communicate our forward and back. We did nothing, we changed nothing from how we were moving well individually. Our arms are still moving, they're still extending. We can take our triple forward. We can take our triple backwards as well. And then practice a little jump drill. So we looked at each other, we were side, and side, and side, and side, and whack. Through, and we repeat. We wanted to use that because we took the jump from that inside foot. We took our triple to go to the side to prepare. Jump the other way. Came through. And then we got back to the beginning. So the whole thing would look like this. Drop the triple forward here, forward and back. A little jump variation looked like this. Bam! A boom. A deep. And up. A and there we are. We also talked about how the inside hand can rest on the back. It can go from hand to hand to the back. We have freedom of movement in that shoulder. And Last I, try, I try to keep a connection. Let the hands and the arms slide together. And the same up, it's sliding. And I feel where it is the entire time. The last thing we talked about was how our bodies move when they turn. If we turn at a slow rate of speed, the arms move in line with the body. Next to the body, if we move at a faster rate of speed, the arms come up. We're not placing our arms somewhere to then turn. That's not how we do it. So with that information right here, we set on the inside foot going forward. We took our little half turn triple this way. We kept our arms outside of our hip box. We rotated around the back hand. We came forward with our rock step in this direction. We can do the same thing back the other way. Back, we had our triple. We get this hand early before the triple step ends so that my follower can feel the rotation of the hips. Played with doing the difference between 
are just rock steps forward and back out of the turns. Or the jump. Thanks, guys. Awesome.